Today we're going to talk about Chinese calligraphy and painting. In China, calligraphy is an art form. We are lucky to have a skilled practitioner with us today to teach us about calligraphy. There are four tools of writing calligraphy and doing Chinese painting. The first is the brush. The brush consists of two parts, the handle made of bamboo and the fiber which generally comes from animal hair. This particular sized brush is used for painting. Our teacher says his preference is for wolf hair taken from the wolf's tail. For calligraphy and detail in paintings, he uses a smaller brush. For this, he prefers goat hair. So there are lots of important details just in selecting what brush to use. The next tool is this, an ink stick. It's made from burnt wood. Then this is the ink stone. You create your ink by grinding the ink stick into the ink stone with some water. But many of today's painters and calligraphers are very lazy and they use ready-made ink. However, he believes you get better results from the old-fashioned way of creating the ink. That's because the grinding motion has a way of calming the body before you begin to use the brushes. Another tool is the paper. The so-called rice paper is made from a number of different plant materials, depending on the type of paper. This particular paper is made from the fiber of rice stems or rice straw. Rice paper is stronger than the normal wood-based paper you and I buy in the store, and it's more absorbent. Our teacher is now going to demonstrate the construction and meaning of one Chinese character. Chinese characters are made up of pictures. So what does this horizontal line mean? What's the meaning? Bed. That meaning is one. One, two, three, one. It means one as one, two, three, four. One. The root means is a one. One, two, three, one, mm. one, yes. He puts in a second picture. It's a picture of a mouth. Also meaning food. What it like. like that is also a picture of the mouse. The mouth. The mouse. Oh, the mouse, yes. So, really? so in here, in here, mm -hmm. extensive meaning is uh, food. Enough food. The third picture he draws is a farm field. At least that was its original ancient meaning. Today it means wealth. He puts in a fourth picture. This is a road sign like picture. This part is a picture of a three white When you put all four pictures together into a character, it means bright future or 
happiness. Chance captures. Oh my goodness. I you all of yes. Thought <laughs> happiness. Now our teacher is going to draw the character for Buddha. It consists of two pictures. The picture on the right signifies rope, or to tie, or to throw, or to go beyond. The picture on the left depicts people, common people. The two pictures together is the Chinese character for people becoming a happy Buddha. So our teacher builds words constructing characters out of pictures. Chinese calligraphy is based mostly on the picture quality, not on the sound quality. Chinese characters have evolved and changed over the years. This is the original ancient character for moon. Characters have been simplified. Today, the moon is drawn like the lower character. A little abstract, yes. Yes, this today is more. Another, mm. another one. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> he puts the ink stick on the paper to stabilize the paper before he paints on the paper. You guess? Our teacher draws <laughs> the character for mountains as it originated in the ancient times. Today, this has been simplified to the character he shows here for mountain. A calligrapher must be good at painting also. This painting is special because of its intricate detail. Our teacher uses a very fine brush to accomplish this detail. Colors are added on top by layering. This is freeform painting. The artist uses his imagination while painting. Our teacher has years and years of experience. So when he shows us how to draw freehand painting, it looks easy, but it isn't. Our teacher draws another typical freehand picture. Double, mm -hmm. double stroke. We continue to write this double stroke to develop a group beautiful Beautiful so a bamboo leaf, yes. This one, second. Our teacher likes to paint bamboo because in his opinion, bamboo represents morality. Look easy, but this skill needs my 30 years to practice. Bamboo is very strong, but a little bit bent. It is humble. Okay, this finished the uh, bamboo leaf, then we add a stick. Yes. That's a typical freehand brush for the paintings. No any drawing lines in advanced. Mm -hmm. I use the brush painting mm -hmm. directly. Yeah. Yes. I painted some bamboo, painting some. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Then, first, also, 
that is also finished, finished okay, uh, so bamboo leaf, that, that's dry. In order to put on a second color, they let the first layer dry, then use a second brush to do the second color. Chinese painters like to paint this particular flower. It only blossoms in very cold winter days. Uh, this plum flower to, to do. And this flower, this flower, the named plum flower. Plum, this flower. He showed us several other paintings he had created. My countries also in future become noble and yeah. rich. Yeah. And that is A very skillful and creative artist. Successful. Oh, yes, yeah, successful. Yeah. Successful. Oh, successful. You are host. Yeah. yeah, successful. I yes. became convinced yes. it would take me a long time and a lot of study to really appreciate Chinese painting and Chinese calligraphy. Okay. And so, uh, in this style, in this gallery, I introduced some pictures very 